Things Heard and Seen is the brand new Netflix original film, which dropped today, Thursday, April 29th, 2020, and stars Amanda Seyfried, James Norton, Natalia Dyer, and F. Murray Abraham, and many more is in the film. And the film tells a story about Catherine and George, a husband and wife with their kid, Franny, who move to the Hudson Valley because um, George, um, George is a teacher at a college. And when they move into this possibly haunted house, um, a young artist uh, suspects their, that their home harbors a dark secret. The film is two hours and a minute long and is rated R. My name is Max and welcome back to a brand new Netflix review here on Max Talk. When we say I'm talking hang, things heard and seen. Before I get this movie review, please hit the like button. That's the best way to support the channel. Also, please subscribe and ring the bell to the channel. If you're new, I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, shooting platform reviews and movie rankings. If you like any one of those things, please consider subscribing and ring that bell for some notifications. Also, I also respond to every single comment. So let's have a fun discussion in the comment section down below. Uh, have you seen this film? Will you check this one out this weekend in a busy weekend for film? Uh, will you check this one out on Netflix? You know, they have another movie coming out tomorrow. And if you've seen the film already, tell me, oh, did you like the film? Not like the film? This is pretty a divisive film. So I've heard a lot of critics say they enjoy the film. Other critics say they do not like the film. And I'd love to know where you fall on that poll and poll. You know, it is at a 33% rotten on Rotten Tomatoes. So let's get into the movie right now. So I was pretty excited for the film. It stars Amanda Seyfried, who I absolutely love. I believe she's one of the most underrated actresses in Hollywood at the moment. I've said this for a long time, but you know, Mean Girls was always very fun for her, but I thought Jennifer's body was the first. I was like, she could really act. And then I found her really funny in Ted 2. And it was really Mank where I was like, this is a really good actress. Mank was a terrific performance, a performance that I did think was the best supporting performance of last year, even though I have not seen Minari. I totally get that she won, uh, Yoon Jun Yoon, but this performance was really excellent and, and probably the best part of Mank was Amanda Seyfried. So I was excited to see what she would be up to next. And it's Things Heard and Seen, a Netflix supernatural thriller is how I'll put it for people. It isn't really a horror movie. Um, there is aspects that want you to think it's a horror movie, but it really isn't. It's more of a supernatural element, but it's a thriller uh, for the most part. Um, and Amanda Seyfried is the best part of this entire movie, thankfully. Um, she's really good in the movie. She plays a person playing Catherine who um, you understand where she's coming from, from all angles of the film. You get why she's kind of having her marriage drama with James Norton's character, George. Um, you get why her relationship, why she wants to be communal in this community and why she starts digging for things about the house, why she hires people if they're familiar with the house. You really get every part of her character. And she was clearly the strongest part of the film. Um, she was the most relatable character. She's the character you were rooting for throughout the film of figuring out what the hell is going on with the community and the area and her husband. So there's a lot of aspects of the film that I, that she, when she is on screen, the film is must watch. For the example of her character is interesting. She's giving it her all in the performance. Um, and I just wish there was more out of her. James Norton is also good in the movie. Now he, more than most characters in the movie, knows what movie he really is in. Um, while the movie can be quite serious at times, it also kind of is a mixture of being ridiculous and his character being one of those characters in the last 25 minutes of the movie becomes quite ridiculous. And it's not because of the fault of his character. The performance is actually quite good from James Norton. His chemistry with Seifert is also very excellent. And you do feel their breakup kind of dwindling over the house. Um, and you and understand his, and you try to, as you learn more about his character, his character does become more fascinating Throughout the film, there's a couple twists that I wasn't quite sure was going on. So I thought it was interesting, um, his character as well. Um, Natalia Dyer is good while when she's in the movie. Her character might not be, but when she's on the screen, she's very good in the film. But really the two best parts of the film is really Amanda Seyfried's um, character and her performance, but also the interesting story with the film. It was quite interesting. Like I was Sometimes I was bored, but still I wanted to see how this movie would conclude. So I was still fascinated how this movie would conclude, how they would show off their supernatural elements to the film and how the ending would be. Now this is based off a novel. So if you've read the novel, also let me know in the comment section down below, has this film lived up to the novel? 
And that's when I get into the negatives. I really did not like this movie. And it's a shame because I've heard a lot of uh, critics who I trust really enjoy the film, but I'm on the other, I really did not enjoy this film. Um, and it really is because of the story. Um, I said, I was interested in seeing what was happening. There was a supernatural element, a horror element that I was quite interested in, but overall the story felt very dull and very flat. There's a lot of subplots that are in this movie and a lot don't get any conc satisfying conclusions at all. There's a couple of boys who work for the house and there's an interesting past with them in the house. Their ending doesn't get, isn't satisfying at all. Natalia Dyer's character, she has a dynamic with um with J james norton's character in the film george that starts out to be a cliche and then they never go back to it until the end of the film and her conclusion isn't satisfying that much and there's a character named justine in the film and the last 15 minutes when you unravel what's going on with her character it was quite la it was quite laughable what they did with her character um, you get why she's fond of Amanda Seyfried and why she's investigating. And you kind of, I'm kind of, she's one of my favorite parts of the first two acts of the film, but her character falls off a cliff in the third act of what happens with her character that I couldn't believe they made that bad of a decision, laughably bad decision with her character. And really overall, the film can be quite ridiculous. I think that if the film just took itself seriously for the whole runtime, even though yes, there's a supernatural, I guess, horror aspect of the film, you can still take the film seriously, but the last 25, 40 minutes of the film is really ridiculous with what is going on, how the supernatural actually gets involved in the film. It just gets ridiculous. And there's a lot of rules that are not set up about the supernatural in the film that is never explained, but we're supposed to, we're supposed to buy it without understanding what's going on. So and it was a shame because Amanda Seyfried's really giving a good, really good performance in the movie. James Warren is also very solid. Um, Natalia Dyer is a great talent who is wasted in the movie. Um, when she's on the screen, she's fun to watch, really, for the most part, not a very good character at all. And the film is long, too. It is two hours, and you can really feel the two hours. I'm, part, I'm a person who always critiques time. And if it's a good movie, I'm not really thinking about the time. I was really thinking about time throughout this entire film. The first hour is really long and not much happens in the first hour of the movie. Uh, it really doesn't take place. Once the second half of the movie takes place, um, I guess it gets more interesting story-wise, but the film for me is just a dull film and it didn't know what it wanted to be. At times, in the, at least the first 20 minutes of the movie, I was kind of getting horror. You know, I wasn't scared. By the way, this movie is not scary at all. Um, there was some horror vibes. I was like, wow, this is kind of a horror film. I was actually excited to see what they would do with that. And there were times that I wanted it to be a thriller. There are times I wanted it to be supernatural. And all of those tones for me, which normally like this is a good film, all those tones did not work for me. It was too much. And sometimes the script didn't know what it wanted to be. At times I wanted to be a horror film. At times I wanted to be a thriller. At times I wanted to be a supernatural film. And when that was going on, it was just too much of its own thing. So overall, guys, I was very disappointed by this film. I know a lot of people out there do like this movie. And if you do like this movie, I'm jealous of you. I wanted to like this movie because I love Amanda Seyfried and I love Amanda Seyfried in this film. And also one of my main issues with those before I wrap up, it felt like they didn't want Amanda Seyfried to be the main character. They got her as the big, and she kind of is the main character for the first half of the film. And then it quickly transitions into James Norton's character and he becomes the main character. And I thought that she should have been the main character the whole runtime, which I thought was a major mistake as well with the film. So overall, I'm gonna give Things Heard and Seen a 1.5 out of five. Sadly, I'm gonna give this film a 30%. I really did not enjoy this film. Um, from start to finish, even though it has two, really one amazing performance, another solid performance in a movie that, that these performances were not deserved of. So that's my thoughts on things heard and seen. Let me know your thoughts. Again, it's a divisive film. Some critics love it. Some critics do not like myself. So let's talk about the content down below. Where do you stand on this film? Tell me why you like this film, or if you agree with me, talk about some other criticisms, non-spoiler fashion. And will you check this one out? And again, I still recommend this film. It's a divisive film. You might like it if you like those type of things. If not, maybe stay away from things heard and seen. 
So guys, three more reviews are coming out tomorrow. Mitchells versus Machines. And without remorse, two more reviews coming out tomorrow. And my season finale spoiler review of Invincible will be coming out tomorrow. So stay tuned. So ring the bell, subscribe, like the video, comment, share the video, and I'll see you guys very, very soon.